welcome to my first Pilates video. I am so excited to be here. I'm so excited to finally be doing this. You guys know how much I love Pilates. Today we're going to be doing some abs and booty, my two favorite areas to train. Let's get right into it. So we're going to take the time to warm up because warm ups are extremely important. They really set the foundation for your entire workout and it's very important not just to warm up your body only but also warm up your mind. I want you to be here, be nowhere else but your mat right now. This time it is for you. Get out of autopilot mode, no need to think about that assignment or task that you have to do. This time is solely about you. Close your eyes, start by taking a deep breath. You would be surprised how much we don't take deep breaths for our day, very shallow breaths, and this is a great time to really breathe in, breathe out, inhale. One leg down, one leg tabletop. Make sure your hips are square. By square, I mean both are facing directly to the ceiling. One is not tilted more than the other or balanced. Hands behind your head. Now, our heads are eight to 10 pounds. Let's use that to make our ab workout better. Use it for the resistance to really enhance that workout. Make sure your head is heavy and hold your head throughout this whole thing. The way I like to do it is put the hands at the base of my skull and make my head heavy, just drop it. To really add that resistance into the workout. We're going to start by lifting chest lifts. Down. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Four, three, two, one. I want you to keep your leg there. Reach your hands over your head. Across the side of your leg. Ten. Nine. Eight. On your toes. Both toes. Six. Five. Four, reach those fingers on your head, point those toes, one. Now, put your hands back behind your head, 
we're going to keep our one leg and the top, and we're going to move our right leg up and down. Make sure your spine is imprinted here. Find that right position for you. You're feeling the burn, but your back is not hurting. Inhale up, exhale down. Two, one. Take a second. Straight into the other side. Left leg down, toes pointed, right leg into tabletop, hips are squared, hands behind your head, head is heavy, lift. Seven. Six, five, use the weight of your head. Four, three, two, one. Take a second. Place those hips if you need to. Reach hands above your head. Toes pointing as well. Lift up, reach across. Please. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight into the other. One, two, try not to swing too much. Try to keep your abs. Stable, head heavy, toes pointed. Two, one. And relax, those burn. All right, we're gonna imprint our spine once again. Both legs on the tabletop. We'll see on the seat. Just like I'm doing here, I'm trying to find the best place where I feel most balanced. Take the time to find your spots too. Like right straight into tabletop. Hands on your knees. You're gonna lift right leg, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, left arm. Make sure you're not straining your back. Imprint your spine. You don't have to go all the way down. Just go until what feels good. You don't need to be in pain here. You just want to feel the burden. Couple more. Three. Two. One. Now, the breath is very key for ab workouts. You want to inhale when you're lowered, exhale when you're up, and good quality, deep, powerful breaths. Release it, release the energy, release the air, release all the stale air. Both hands into the mat. Try and firmly plant your hands because by doing that, you're also getting in an arm workout. You'll notice that your triceps are already tense, they're working, you want that. Push your hands into the mat. Make them work. Legs at the tabletop. Find your position. And we're going to slowly tilt to one side. Push your hands and use your arms to stabilize yourself here. So it's a little bit to the left. It's a little bit to the right. I don't want your whole hip off the mat. Just slight, slight, slight tilts. Enough where you feel the burn. We want to challenge those balancing tiny muscles. Make them stronger, work in our release. Inhale center, exhale to the side. Inhale center, exhale to the side. Very slight movement. Use those arms for the balance. You'll notice the more you push your arms into the mat, the more of a burden you feel. And relax. 
quickly stretch, make it your body long, 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 reach in position. We're gonna get into some opposite taps. So push the pelvic floor into the ground. Arms, one arm. We're gonna start with the right hand, which means we're using left, left foot. Put your left hand behind your head. Hold it, make it heavy. Balance out your pelvic floor, everything is on the mat. We're gonna lift. 10, nine, eight, seven. Your arms are working here, legs are working here, and the thigh, abs, point your toes. Two, one. Opposite side. Head into right hand. Point those toes. Pointing your toes in. Reaching your arms really helps with those beautiful, long, lean lines. Scoop those abs. Three, two, one. Relax. Yeah. We're going to get into some hundreds. These are fun. These burn. Okay. Feet on the ground. Arms forward. Legs tabletop. You want to make sure that your spine is in a place where you feel the burn. Your lower abs imprinted. Hands next to you. And we're going to start to pump. Five. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Look at your belly button. That should be your full point. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Inhale for five. One more. Relax. Now, we're going to do a fun version of those hundreds. Back into position, legs on tabletop, hands above. As we, as we paddle, we're going to push up, down, sit ups, with our hundreds as we push our hands. Inhale, lower down. Exhale up, down, exhale up. Now if your head hurts, you can keep it down and you can pump. The more to challenge yourself. You get that burn. We're gonna do sit-ups and hundreds. Pump those arms and let it out. Push, push into the air. Any anger, any frustration you have, pump it out. Three more. One, and relax. Hands on your knees, shake it out. Shake your head side to side. Release any tension in your neck. Wake up for our elbows, but I don't want you dumping into your shoulders. None of this. Straight up on your elbows. Find that point in your tailbone. Legs on the tabletop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push out. Bring it in. In. But I want you to bring your knees in slightly. Tap your knees to your nose if you can. In. Ten. Your legs don't have to be completely straight. Do what you can. Do what feels good. One. Go to stay on our elbows again. Don't dump into your shoulders. Nice and straight. Tabletop. One leg will remain tabletop. The other leg, we're gonna push to the side of the mat. We're not gonna go all the way down. It's just going to be 
just right above it. Not all the way down. Aim for the corner of your mat right outside it. Four, three, two, one. Center, other side. Ten. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Seven, six, five. Right, we're hovering. We're not putting our foot all the way down. Hovering. Outside of the mat. One. Bring it in. Walk side to side. Lie down really quickly. Just put your hands into goal post. Imagine your goal post. Both shoulders on the ground, elbows to the ground. Rotate your legs left. Rotate your legs over to the right. Just to release any tension or tightness in our lower back. My back always cracks me through this. Feels good. One more ab exercise while we're here. Back on our elbows. Push out of your elbows. Legs and tabletop slightly open. What you're going to do is you're going to reach forward, inside, forward, inside. Inhale. This just the slightest shift in your pelvic floor. Scoop those abs. Focus on your core, mind body connection. Three, two, one. Yeah, that burns. I know. Take a break. Just sit for a second. A few breaths, center yourself throughout your workout. Let it all out. I love doing that. It's so fun. Quick down on the dog just to stretch a little bit. Bring it straight into our booty. Tabletop. You want to have your knees under your hips and your arms slight, slightly bent. You don't want them too straight. You want them slightly bent. Try and have your shoulders match where your wrists are. So everything in line. Your core tight. No need, don't arch your back like this. Keep it tight. No need to flex your core. Keep your spine straight. You can do that by tensing your core, right? Scoop the abs in toward your belly button. We're going to lift up our left leg. Try and square your hips towards the mat. So both hips are facing the mat. You're not like this, you're like this. Spine up, foot is tense. Now shift your foot slightly out to the corner, to the side of the mat. What you're going to do is you're going to curl it in, out, in, out. But it's at an angle because we're not doing it straight here, right here. We're doing it right outside the mat. So in, out, in, out. Try and balance out your weight throughout your hand and your knee. You want to feel the burn on your booty. Five, four, three, two, one. Now what we're gonna do is flex your foot. Keep your foot there. Flex your foot still slightly out. We're just going to go up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Point your toes, small circles to the side. 10, 9, just the size. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. 10, and make sure your leg is out at an angle. Right outside your mat. Three, two, one. Bring it in. Quick break. Hands up my 
leggings now, I mean up, so that's what I use my brakes for. Back to the tabletop, make sure everything is aligned, knees and hips, hands, shoulders aligned. Right leg up, square hips. We're gonna point our toes, we're gonna point up and flex. Switch between pointing and flexing. Eight, slight bend in those elbows. Six, five, square hips. Two, one. So we're gonna keep our leg, hold it there. Down, up. You wanna rotate your foot slightly so that your pinky is facing the ceiling as you go up. Up, down. Four, three, two, one, and pulse. Slight bend in your elbows. Square those hips. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two, one, and relax. Turn on to the other side. We're going to switch so you guys can see. Take a second to make sure everything is aligned. Form is everything. No rush, take it slow. Can you guys see that? Left leg up. We're going to flex our foot slightly. Do you see why my corner is here? Slightly outside of it. Your hamstring curl to the side. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Think about the muscle you're working. Think about the booty. Think about your hamstrings. Two. One. Keep it flexed. Up down. Four, three, two, one. Keep it up. Now, get burnt. Point. Point your toes. Little circles to the side. You want to make the side of a golf ball. Don't move your hips too much. Small, small, small movements. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Don't move your hips too much. Try and keep your hips squared. Slide that in elbows. I find it's helpful to put most of the weight on the side that you're working. So most of my weight is in my left hand. And one. Now, we're going to left leg up. We're going to go between the point and flex. So keep those hips squared. You're not arching your back. You're scooping your abs, which makes your back look flat. Four, three, two, one. Keep the leg out. Rotate the toes, pinky facing the ceiling. Nine, eight, ten, your abs. Scoop those abs. Some of the power from this is also coming from your abs. It's not all your butt. Body is always a full body workout. Work in your arms, work in your abs. Work in three, one. Three pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven. One more, seven. Soften your face. Unclench that jaw. Embrace the burn. Two, one. And your outline, uh, we're going to wind down. It's very important to take the time to slow down. Don't just roll over mat and go on to your next task of the day. We're sitting here, we're connecting with ourselves. We're giving ourselves a little bit of time just to check in, acknowledge the work that you've done. I hope you felt the burn. I know I did, but it wasn't just about our body, it was also about our mind. So acknowledge the work you've done physically, but also the work you've done for your mind. Just in moods, feeling good. We make time for ourselves today. Pat on the shoulder, we showed up for ourselves. It's all really stuff to be proud of. Put yourself first, and you chose to show up for yourself. You were a priority for yourself today as well, along with the other things you have to do, which is really great. Move your body, movement is medicine. You deserve to take care of yourself too. 
you deserve well-being too. Let's get into some stretches. Do some butterflies really quickly, just to open up the inner thigh. We did some really high work today. Shake, shake, shake. I love stretches because I feel like it's such a release of like any buildup that I may have. Stretch your legs. Sink into it. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Release anything that is stuck here, any tenseness, anything. Let it go. Your other leg, stretch. You can even stretch your side body, reaching over, opposite side to leg. Sink into it. Breathe. I really like to do wrist stretches while well, I sit on my computer all day doing all kinds of different things. So let's do some of those real quick. Put your hand, your arm out in front of you. And you're just going to slow, very gently just push inwards. Stretch it up the wrist. Same thing, other side, forearm. Pull it towards, towards you inwards. Stretch it out. Switch up your neck. Always stare at that. Some kind of screen, whether it's a computer or a TV, but it's nice to just take a second and loosen everything up. Get the blood flowing. Stretch to your side. Sink into it. I hope you guys enjoyed your first workout with me. I can't wait to keep doing these with you. I'm so excited about these. Thank you for being patient with me. This is my first video and I'm going to learn as I go, but I'm just excited to get this stuff out there for you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. An amazing rest of your day. Bring the energy from this mat into the rest of your life with you.